Okay, so uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, work on this microwave oven right here. It would power on, everything works fine, and it, when you turn it on, the timer works and everything, but you didn't hear the fan kick on or the microwave transformer, and I was like, why is the transformer not even starting? Um, and that's obviously the same circuit that's hooked up to the magnetron, anybody that knows about a microwave and how it works. So you get the microwave oven, uh, which produces the high voltage, you get the high voltage capacitor and you get your magnetron. Anyways, on top, the first thing I noticed when I opened it up was this burnt wire right here. And I was like, what is that? And I looked for a, a schematic and uh, they've actually got it on a sticker right here. So if you look on the circuit here, you got the the 120 that you, you know, you plug it in and then you've got a fuse and noise filter and then if you look here you've got it says thermal cutoff you've got one for the oven and one for the magnetron there it goes because this particular oven actually has a has a heating element on the top to warm the food from the top if you choose so, I mean, I was testing all the components. I tested the switches, you know, which commonly cause it to not work or not function. And they are all tested like they're supposed to. And in the process, I unplugged that wire that's labeled L. Which on the circuit, you see it says L. And then it goes to the, the cutout, the thermal cutouts. And those are wired directly to each other with one wire. As you can see, there's one there and there's one there. So it just goes around to that one and it basically interrupts the power and the light is also connected to that. So there's a light, the light socket. Well, now that I uh, unplugged that and plugged it back in and I was like, I was going to test some current things and see what's going on, why it's not even powering on at all. And um, yeah, it just started working. So the only thing I can think of is that because this, you know, experienced high current at one time, it got dirty in there. You can see how crappy it is. So basically, if I just cut this off and replace it with a new one, or I can even just put a whole new wire and just make my own wire. This one is not that bad on the. Now you can see it. This one's not that bad on the uh, terminal itself, but you can see some burntness up here where the wire clamps into it. So I mean, it was drawing too much current at some point. And whenever I tested it, I put my clamp meter on this wire here and just had it open while I was running it. It was pulling about 13.2 amps while it was heating. But, yeah, so it's working now. I think I'll probably just replace that, that plug on there and put it all back together. And it's just missing, uh, it's missing that round, round dish or whatever at the bottom. But I think I got a couple extras. So, if not, I'm able to find one somewhere. Alright, thanks for watching.